Hello, hello, welcome to Hashtag Health, Wealth, Life, Day 19. It's Thursday the 19th of January 2017. We are live, this video is live, and uh, we are day 19 of 365. So, yesterday was uh, was an interesting one, Munchausen's Mind. Check it out if you didn't see it, but it's in co- being in control of your mind, how that can help you in the gym, how that can help you with your body, how that can help you with the outcome of your life. Now today, I just want to, I was reminded of a, a little... Uh, parable maybe, a little story about two ships, two ships. I want to condense these down to less than, uh, for around about five minute mark, maybe just less. Hi Nos. So I want to keep these short and sweet and really get the message out quite quickly to you. So it's two ships today. Stephen, how are you? Um, that was a, my Irish accent, just slightly. How are you doing, mate? Um, Carmen, good to see you as always. Uh, so let me crack on. So less than five minutes on this. So two, uh, two ships Two ships. Imagine two identical ships in the port. They look exactly the same. They're exactly the same color. They're exactly the same weight. They have exactly the same equipment. They're exactly the same speed. They set off on exactly the same destination and course. They're on this course. Now, at any point, one of the ships changes its destination by one degree. One degree. Just a tiny amount. So a day later, you didn't notice. You still look. They still look like they're on the same path, exactly the same, overlapping each other. Maybe after a month, maybe they're you know side by side. After six months, there's some distance between them. After a year, they're in completely different places. And two, five, ten years down the line, they're in completely different places. Now, what's the point of this? Is you could make a slight shift in. A degree, a tiny shift in what you do every day. Maybe your mindset, maybe your exercise plan, maybe the time you go to bed, maybe it's half an hour earlier. Maybe it's just how much you read each day. You take two pages like my uh, suggestion the other day. Uh, Hayden, we was talking about this. If you get to see this video as well, how you've taken that on board and you now get to at least two pages every day and that usually brings about uh, you reading more pages because we get into it right um, so we need to take it in bite-sized pieces some of these goals and then we end up doing more so that's one thing to think about but two ships identical destinations one changes course by one degree and they keep going straight they're directly straight everything is identical they'll end up in completely different destinations now the point being that is the, if you change your direction if you change your thought pattern if you change your exercise routine if you change your lifestyle just slightly, in a year's time, that'll make a difference. In two years' time, in four, five years, ten years, and so on. Exactly. Small steps. Take that small step in the direction that you really want to be going. So clarify what that is and make that step. And notice when you're dropping back, you said, oh, I've just changed my direction back to the negative or I've just uh, thought I'm going to skip the gym today, I'm not going to train. Uh, so think about that. Two ships, completely same, completely the same, identical, and heading off in the same direction, and they one changes direction by a degree. In a few years' time, they'll be in completely different uh, destinations. Their goal, their arrival will be completely different. And so can yours. From where you are right now, you might be on a really good path. Keep that going. But can you make it, can you take it up a notch? Can you crank that up at just one degree more? Can you do that? And a week later and two months later and so on, you'll be in a much better place, an even better place. So that one degree difference can make it. Do the easiest thing. Do the easiest thing. I talked about this on my book launch. Have a look at that video if you haven't seen it. Scroll down through uh, my Facebook feed or my LinkedIn feed, wherever you can see it. will all be on there. Um, and the last point I want to leave you with is um, leadership. So we're talking about ships because leadership is being able to lead a ship. Now, who's on your ship will determine how good your leadership is. So if you can lead a ship of quality, like-minded people, then your ability and your skill set and your mindset and your standing in life, your stature and your posture is high because people won't follow you unless they want to somehow get, they can get something from you or they want to be like you. You know, they want to emulate you or they, you inspire them in some way or another. Maybe not in every single way, but in some way or another. So you have to keep building yourself. And like I am every day, absolutely learning, building myself and sharing what I learn, just sharing what I learn with you guys and uh, my clients and everyone in my life. The more we can all bring each other up by sharing our lessons, the quicker we all learn. That's the genius part of this. And that's the idea of this community of the Health, Wealth, Life, hashtag Health, Wealth, Life community. So to lead a ship is an important part of the journey. And where's your ship going? Where are you leading your ship? That one degree shift to more more towards the positive from today. Even if you're in the best spot you've ever been in today, can we crank it up just another little notch because it will make such a difference in the long run. Mayros, happy day. Hope you're having a good one. 
Um, if you didn't see the beginning, just skip back and, and have a listen when it's finished. But lead a ship. Where are you leading your ship? Now, first of all, your ship might not have anyone else on it. It might just be you. So get that ship in the right direction and you'll start to attract uh, some other people onto, onto your ship. And you can lead them all the way to a positive, happier life. And on your ship could be nice and happy. That's the idea of Health, Wealth, Life. Big community of like-minded people who want to feel their best and do their best every day in the world. And what an amazing uh, view. Let me just show you this quickly. This is quality. Have a look. Look at that. That's great. Wow, so where are we going? Where are we going, people? Let's decide and uh, let's go somewhere good. Let's go somewhere good. Let's do everything we need, everything we know uh, we need to do to be our personal best, to bring our personal best out, to feel a billion dollars every day of the week. Let's do that. That's each of our own responsibility. And then share our ideas and our concepts and, and let's see who picks up on them. And uh, if there's a group of us that can get on this ship and lead it to somewhere amazing, let's absolutely do that 100%. Let's give it some energy. Let's crank it up and let's make it work. Okay, anything you learned today, let me know. Shoot me a message. Uh, let's continue the conversation. There's been some good chats going on around this. And um, that's weird seeing myself in the reflection of the window, actually, in the phone. But anyway, what an amazing view. Let's head to this destination on the horizon. It's gorgeous. Let's picture that as, uh, as all of our destinations. So leadership, where are you leading yours? Be clear about it. Remember, happy is a skill that you can learn, and this is a better way to bring out your personal best. Let's go get some health wealth. Let's take the world with us and have an amazing evening. And I will see you tomorrow for Health Wealth Life Day 20. Have a great evening, guys. Take care. Have fun.